The process of transformation, even if it brings revolutionary change, is likely to be a long one, aside from some catastrophic catalyzing event like a new Pearl Harbor. These are the words of a neocon think tank whose members count people like Dick Cheney, Wolfowitz and Donald Rumsfeld. What it says is that America needs a war to transform into its next shape and 9-11 is our new Pearl Harbor. In the manipulation of people, one of the strongest weapons is to make people believe someone else did it. What I'm trying to say is that the US government is trying to make the people believe Osama did it. But did Osama do it? Did you know that six weeks before the WTC towers collapsed, the owner had a new insurance policy made up, ensuring that the owner, if the towers would collapse due to a terrorist attack, would receive the amount of $3.5 billion. The owner, because two towers went down, tried to claim two times $3.5 billion, but only received 2.2. What happened to building number seven? In order to control people who can be a hazard to the bad guys, the bad guys have control of a number of tools. One of these tools is the remotely operated electromagnetic frequency weapon. These use microwave, ELF, extremely low frequencies, and acoustic frequencies to covertly attack and harass innocent citizens. The use of frequency weapons on humans for behavioral control and murder is not new. For well over 50 years, neuroelectromagnetic frequency weapons have been perfected for their covert use in warfare. These classified, non-lethal or silent weapons as they are known in the trade, have also been perfected by experimenting on an innocent and unsuspecting public since their early development. Directing a beam of frequencies to a human can cause a series of effects. A well-known effect is elves causing nausea, headaches, wild racing heart without cause, sudden violent itching in different parts of the body. A frequency weapon can look like this, or like this. Its shape depends on how frequencies have to be directed to the target. Did you know that the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office holds a vast amount of patents for machines which can be used in direct or subliminal mind control systems? Here are a few. Method and System for Altering Consciousness Superimposing method and apparatus useful for subliminal messages Subliminal Message Generator Enough about the frequency weapons. Check this link to learn more. You will realize that to control people, you have to know what they are communicating. So in the 1950s, the UK and USA decided to set up the world's biggest espionage network to make sure all communications between Russians and spies or allies were monitored. This system has continuously been updated since the day it became operational. The system's name is Echelon and consists of a vast network of listening posts, extremely advanced computers, an enormous number of people, dishes, and taps. Echelon's computers capture every communication via Internet, GSM, UMTS, landlines, TV and radio broadcasts, satellite communications, private, military, and diplomatic, and listens to every word. The computers work with a list of keywords 
and when a message contains one or more keywords, the message is directed to a specialist who examines the message. If it is suspicious, further action may be taken. Echelon centers are around the world, but here are the best known locations. Menwith Hill, North Yorkshire, England. Harp, Remote Mind Control Computer Center, Alaska. Pine Gap, near Alice Springs, Northern Territory, Australia. Pine Gap has a complex of radomes, a huge computer room, and about 20 support buildings. The signals analysis section of the computer room is staffed exclusively by CIA and NSA analysts. Within the USA, Australia and the UK, the NSA can plug into every telephone call and message entering, leaving or transiting the country. The NSA is also constructing a network of towers up to 500 feet high. Each tower at a distance of 200 miles from each other and stretching from the east to the west of the US. The network is called GWEN, Ground Wave Emergency Network. This network transmits very low frequencies combined with ultra high frequencies and is used in case the communication systems in the US are rendered useless because of a nuclear attack. Coincidentally, the frequencies of Gwen coincide with the frequencies being used by frequency weapons. Also coincidental is the fact that mobile telephone systems like GSM and UMTS also operate in the same frequency areas as some frequency weapons. To further prepare for global domination, the secret US government, led by the corrupt holders of the Ark, also known as the Illuminati, or the New Global Union, or the New World Order, or just plain Nazis using the Eye of Lucifer as their symbol, has started building since the 1940s large bases with every commodity you can think of. These bases are basically large cities underground connected by high-speed magneto-leviton trains that have speeds up to Mach 2. According to Phil Schneider, the black budget is a secret budget that garners 25% of the gross national product of the United States. The black budget currently consumes trillions of dollars per year. Presently, there are over 129 deep underground military bases, or DUMs, in the United States. These underground bases were built using nuclear-powered laser drills that can drill seven miles per day. Also, dedicated nuclear explosions were held to create large underground spaces. A lot of contractors work in these places, but never more than three to four weeks always under strict supervision and before entering a site they are warned that if they talk about what they see it will cost them their lives. As mentioned, men are the result of a genetic modification by space aliens. These aliens have been on Earth for a long time and lived in large underground cities all over the world. Collaboration with modern governments began as early as 1933 with the Bavarian Illuminati and Thule secret societies. And this collaboration was brought into America via the CIA, which was established with the help of American Nazi agents as well as European Nazis who were brought into America through Project Paperclip and other operations. It was agreed that the aliens and the upper-class secret government would help each other as agreed in the 1954 Griada Treaty. By 1979, the aliens didn't respect the treaty at all and it was in this year when at Dulce Air Force Base a huge underground base was being built and during excavation an underground alien city was discovered. 
There are several species of aliens working with the U.S. at the Underground 7 level facility at the Alien U.S. Government Biogenetic Research Base in Dulce, New Mexico. The reason they help the U.S. government is because the aliens need space here on Earth for conducting experiments on humans and storing humans in suspended states for reasons unknown. In exchange, the aliens give the U.S. government technology. Examples of these technologies are stealth aircraft, anti-gravity propulsion, genetic research, quantum technologies, computer technology, biological warfare, medicine, GSM, etc. The greatest weapon the devil has is the disbelief people have in him. The devil represents evil and those who want to dominate are the evil ones because they keep their knowledge from saving lives and improving the world. Instead, the evil ones will make the people more docile and stupid using more tricks in order to achieve their goal, which is world and universal domination. The story of the aliens seems so unreal that like the devil, it is subject to ignorance and ridicule, and that is its greatest weapon. In the past and present, the evil ones have tried a number of methods and products to manipulate people. AIDS, invented by a laboratory in Chicago, Illinois in 1972. It was a biological weapon to be used against the people of the United States. Second, the US government has a Tesla device to generate earthquakes. NASA only landed on the moon once. Almost 90% of drugs trafficking is organized by the biggest secret services in the world, like CIA, NSA, MI5, MI6, and so on. Since the U.S. is in Afghanistan, poppy production has reached an all-time high, and never has there been so much heroin on the market. People who don't need drugs needn't worry. Their needs are covered by the pharmaceutical industry. The global warming story is a hoax. The Earth is warming up, but not as a result of CO2 produced by man, but because the cycle of the Earth is just like it is. Remember that 10,000 years ago, the whole northern part of the world was covered in ice. It's what we call an ice age. The Ark in its recent form, started its journey in the deserts of Egypt and was carried to the Holy Land by the Jewish people. In Jerusalem, the Ark started its journey around the world heading west. Everywhere the Ark has been, one or more obelisks are erected as a symbol of establishment. In the future, the Ark will travel to China, Russia, Iran, until it reaches Jerusalem again, which means the whole world will be under the influence of Lucifer's eye. That will be the moment the Anunnaki Empire will settle and rule Earth uncovertly. On many important sites in the world, buildings carrying symbols of Lucifer's return are common. The best known example is the Pentagon, which suggests a pentagram referring to the Jewish symbolism and the symbolism of the Ark. Another example is the Israeli High Court. It's a building with dozens of satanic and secret symbols. Like the Eye of Lucifer, an inverted cross you can walk on, its numerical anomalies. It was built in exactly 750 days used exactly 250,000 stones, all hand-laid, and was funded by the Rothschilds, the founders of the central banks and the World Bank. These buildings celebrate the coming of and will serve